But see, she jumps like a Willys in four-wheel drive. She's like a truck. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, Bob, I get it. I just don't think that it's a very good line. She jumps like a Willys in four-wheel drive. What don't you understand about that? It's not that I don't understand it, Bobby. It's that it's not good. It's just, it's not, it's not good. But don't, she, she jumps like a Willys in four-wheel drive. Yeah, bro, I get it. But it's just not a good line. Well, it's going in the song whether you like it or not. She jumps like a Willys in four-wheel drive, and that's factual. She does. You can look it up in the encyclopedia. She jumps like a Willys in four-wheel drive. She does. Man, fuck this. What has happened in my beautiful, lovable deadheads? Welcome to an all-new episode, brand spanking new episode of Play Dead. You know what it is. As always, I'm Davey. Boom! And if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button, you jabroni. What are you doing here? What? Are you serious? You're, you're, acting, you're acting like a Willys in four-wheel drive right now. You're jumping up and down and playing games with my heart. Quit playing games with my heart and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. And also, if you're interested in it, go hit up our Patreon. Go hit up some merch, uh, realbird.company.site. We got a bunch of stuff. We got a bunch of stuff coming down the pipeline. Some stuff with some cool artists. You know what I'm saying? But today, cutting the fat, what we're doing today is we're learning to play Sugar Mags into the old sunshine de dream. You know what I'm saying? They're never going to miss us. Go on out your window. Other various things that could imply that you are being taken from your homes by a hippie cult, you know? But hey, choices are choices, man. Life choices, bro. You know, they get to you. But, okay, so the song itself was written in 1970 by Bob Weir and Robert Hunter. Okay, so this was for American Beauty. Uh, so Bob had the first half of the song written, and then uh, Robert was helping him workshop the rest of it. But this is, this is the song, from what I've heard, from what I've read and what I've been told, is that this is the song that stopped Robert Hunter and Bob Weir from writing together. And it is because of the jumps like a Willie's in four-wheel drive line. And I don't blame him. It's a bad line. It's always been like, why, does, why is there why four-wheel drive? Why are we talking about that? That's too red. It's too redneck for the Grateful Dead. You know what I'm saying? But he won out in the end, and it's in there. And what's fun about this song is that it is the second most played Grateful Dead song ever. Next to me and my uncle, me and Munkle. That's the most played Grateful Dead song is my Munkle. And the second to it is Sugar Magnolia Daydream. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's, it's a few sections. It's not that many. Um, but do you see that? You see what the fuck it is? You know it's a bridge. You know what it is. So we've got verses. We've got a chorus. You've got this bridge. And then you've got a transition verse which is how we transition over into Sunshine Daydream because we do a little bit of uh, jumping around with some chords, changing a little bit of the key, just changing it a little bit. We're just going up a full step from A to B. You know what I'm saying? So it's just that kind of thing. Not too terrible. Not too terrible. As Charles Barkley would say, it's terrible. It was terrible, Doug. I have the same birthday as Charles Barkley, by the way, and Rihanna and Kurt Cobain. Just a little fun fact about me. Just about Davey. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get into it. Uh, let's uh, start off on the intro. Uh, you, uh, you, you can wait in a drop of dew, couldn't you? You're so tiny. Here we go. All right, so our intro, it's very simple. It's very straightforward. It's basically just, it's, it's like... It's an A chord and a D, like adding on a D, and then you're you could go hit an E, but then you're basically just doing this little kind of tagline riff thing. It, that's what it looks like. It's gonna be no problem, and no problem for you. Okay, so we're gonna listen to me, and then we'll you know you know how it goes. So here we go. See, easy fucking peasy, right? So you never knew one of your favorite songs. It's so easy. So it's. And how we're going to break that down is what you're doing. So you're hitting, you're hitting and. 
You're basically just hitting that chord. You grab an A, just grab that A right off the shelf, put it here, and you're gonna just slide up from an A flat to an A. So, so just a half step as far as you can go, unless you want to, but you don't want to do that. So, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna add on a D. Okay. So what I'm doing there is I'm hammering on my middle finger to the third fret on the B string, and then I'm hammering on my ring finger to the, uh, the fourth fret on the D string. So that's effectively adding a D onto that A there. And that's also a really fun thing. Bob Dylan used to do it a lot. Jerry used to do it a lot. Where it's just like the Doobie Brothers, Allman Brothers. It's a huge thing to learn how to do. Do it. Learn it. Live it. Okay? So. Right? Okay, and then. So what you're doing is you're sliding from the second to the fourth fret on the A string. And then you're going up to the second fret on the D string. Then you're going to hit that fourth fret on the D string. Then you're going to pull off to the second fret. And then you're gonna slide. So you're basically just undoing everything you did. So, so you're gonna slide up to the fourth fret on the, the A string. Then you're gonna hit that second fret on the D string, go to the fourth fret, and then work your way back down. So two, and then you're gonna slide from the four to the two on the A string, and then open. all together and so when you're you when you're when you're done doing that so like when when you're doing a live ver like when you listen to live versions of this they'll kind of like chill on the intro for a bit but what they always do is they'll double up on that e so it's basically an e that you're going to so it's then you hit a D and then you hit an E. Bum, bum, ba, da, that's basically that's what that is. Is you're hitting an E back to an A, right? Um, so when you're doing like a live version of this, it doesn't matter. You can do it over and over again. Just jam on it for a second. But when you're ready to go into the verse, there's always the double of the. See what I'm saying? It's not, it's not that difficult. It's just something you need to know so you can either like, well, I mean, you just do it if you're playing it by yourself or that's the best way to like signal the band when you're playing it for the band. Like, okay, now we're going into the verse, which is a fucking coincidence because what are we going to do? We're going to go into the verse. We're going to go into the verse right now. That's the coincidence, right? Nothing is coincidence. Everything's part of the pattern. Look at the pattern around you. Look at it. It's everywhere. Sugar mango, yeah. All right, homeboys and homegirls, welcome to the verse. Okay, you're ready for this one, aren't you? So this is what it looks like. It's not that bad. This 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 song's pretty. Everything after Terrapin is easy peasy, except for Help on the Way Slipknot, which we'll get to. It's coming this year, I believe. I think it's coming this year. We'll see. We'll see how the year treats us. You know, I'm already run ragged. But, you know, that's just life, isn't it? It's not that years mean it. I'm sorry. I'm getting off track. It doesn't matter. Here we go. This is what it looks like. Now we're going to do it. Okay. Sugar magnolia, blossoms blooming. It's all empty and I don't care. I saw my baby down by the river. I knew she'd have to come up soon for hell. Sweet blossom, come on under the willow. We can have our times if you'll abide. The wonders of nature Rolling in the rushes down by the riverside Easiest thing in the world that you've ever done It's it's so easy It's so easy You can get pregnant doing it Right? So <clears throat> what you gonna do to break it down? You can start on A So sugar magnolia Blossoms blooming So you basically do that, th that same thing we just learned in the intro, right? So sugar magnolia Blossoms blooming, it's 
So you do that. So so it's basically A D to A. So sugar magnolia blossoms blooming. And then you're gonna start this kind of little like chordy area. So heads all empty and I don't care. So that's A to G major to E major to A. Heads all empty and I don't care. Cool. And then you're gonna hit that A again. Saw my baby down by the river. Okay, so this one's a little bit this one's a little bit more complex, but it's still not that bad. So saw my baby down by the river. So what we're doing is we're hitting an A to a C sharp minor, right? And then you're gonna hit an F sharp to E. Bum, bum, and then D D D A. Saw my baby down by the river. Knew she'd have to come up soon for air. See, it's it's pretty simple. It's just like, and you can do that chromatic walk up from two to four on the A string. I like to do it because again, I do the Jerry stuff, and I'm also just trying to like, you know, it, it helps me keep in where the chord's supposed to be. So. Uh, saw my baby down by the river Knew she'd have to come up soon for air And at the end of every verse, you can either do the full phrase, which is You can do the full phrase, or you can just do that half phrase, which is the end the It's really up to you, I've heard them do both ways Sometimes it's to like just to give yourself some time between the verses um, or between choruses, like whatever. It's. Goddamn amber lamps. Fire trucks. All right, so yeah, at the end of every verse. Or. You know, add to taste, pepper to taste. I don't know. It's what you want to do. I've heard them do it both ways. And you can't tell me that they haven't done it because I can give you examples of both motherfucker. Here we go. But now it is time to go into the chorus because that's what it leads you into. Well, shit. Nope, I got you. We're going to it now. All right, so a chorus. Uh, it shall be fun. It shall be easy. It is super simple. Look at that. It is just the, uh, it's four chords, but it is super easy. It is done in three chord chunks. So listen and do. She's got everything delightful. She's got everything I need. It takes the will when I see double. Pays my ticket when I scream. All right, for the do portion of this, what you're going to do you're going to start on D, so she's got everything delightful, right? I do not like singing this chorus. For, for some reason, this is one of my least favorite choruses ever. Like, to play, to sing, I do not like it. But that's just me personally. I love the song, but this chorus, I do not like. She's got everything delightful. So you're just going from a D to a G to a back to a D. So she's got every G to D. And on this next one, you're going to go D, A, D. We're going to go dad on it. We're going to dad it, okay? So, She's got everything delightful. She's got everything I need, right? Super easy. And now we do the D to G to D again. Takes the wheel when I'm seeing double. So, takes the wheel when I'm seeing double. And then we're going to go D, E, A. Pays my ticket when I speed. And again, you can either do the full phrase or the half phrase. It depends on what you want to do. It's just make a decision and stick with it. Or don't. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Okay? So, that's that's that chorus, man. It's super easy. D to G to D. D to A to D. D to G to D. D to G to D. Okay. All right. 
that's that. And now you know now you know a huge chunk of this song, but we're not done yet because you know if Ooh, ooh, you son of a bitch. I know you know what time it is. I know you know what time it is. It's time. Up on the bridge, bitch. It's so much. Oh, God, you know it's time. It's so time. It's so time for the bridge. Just slide it in. Just slide that bridge right in. Just slide it in. So good. So smooth. It goes down like a fine whiskey. You know what I'm saying? Bridge! Sure. All right, welcome to the bridge. So, I know, I know, I know it gets to be too much sometimes, but everybody loves it. That's why people watch the shows for the bridge segment. It's to see me framed in my face with a bridge, right? Bridge all over my face. That's what everybody likes to see. That's what they want. They want me trapped in here in this little box. You know what I'm saying? But it's fine. I'm cool with it. It's my life now. Trapped inside a box, inside a box, inside a box, inside a box. All these boxes. Always in a box if you think about it. You're never not in a box. So, freak out about that. Okay, bridge. Looks like this. Super easy. Listen, and we will. Sugar Magnolia. Oh, you ringing that bluebell. All oh, caught up in sunlight. Come on out singing. I'm walking in the sunshine. Ooh. Come on, honey. Come along with me. All right, see, not bad. So your bridge. So it's that uh, sugar magnolia. So that's like kind of the thing you need to learn. So it's an A to G, D, 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 A, right? Sugar magnolia. Bring in that bluebell. So, so that, that chord progression just kind of keeps like chucking along while the, the singing's happening until you get to this. You do that three times. Three times. So Sugar magnolia. Now this is where it changes So come on out singing I'll walk you in the sunshine So that's an A, E, G to D So come on out singing I'll walk you in the sunshine And you get the ooh Get the ooh And then you got the Come on honey, come along with me so if you notice, there's a pause there at the, the, come on, honey, come along with me. And then you just hit that kind of intro riff. And that's, that's the bridge. I mean, there's, the transition verse could also be kind of a bridge, but this feels right. This feels right to me. This feels like a good bridge. Could be two bridges. Could be two completely different bridges, but we're calling it something else just for ease of access. You heard? So now let's get to that transition. And so you can get to Sunshine Daydream and then just, you know, uh, breathe more freely, right? Sometimes when the cuckoo's crying When the moon is halfway down Sometimes when the night is dark. All right, guys, welcome to the old, uh, the old transition. The old transition. So this is the little verse that gets you into Sunshine Daydream. So there's a little bit, there's a key change in it, okay? Uh, this is what it looks like. And I'm going to be teaching, I'm not going to be teaching the album version of this one because I like the live way they do it better. There's a little bit, it's dramatic. And there's there's a bit of a buildup to it, you know? And I like that. And it's also less chords. Just so helps you out, helps everybody out. I mean, whatever. So uh, listen, and we will. Okay. Sometimes when the cuckoo's crying, when the moon is halfway down, sometimes when the night is dying, I take me out and I wander around. I walk around. All right, so breaking it down, this is how we start. We start with a big A. So sometimes when the cuckoo's crying. And then you hit that that D down to A, that, that kind of like, that A add D or whatever we're doing. Right? So. Times when the cuckoo's crying, when the moon is halfway down. 
So what you're doing there is you're doing a chromatic walk up. Sometimes when the cuckoo's crying, when the moon is halfway down. So do you see what I'm doing there? So I'm doing a chromatic walk up from A to B. Same kind of thing, that same kind of D thing, but now you're doing it with a B and an E. See, you didn't know that I've taught you something so simple that you can now apply to everywhere on the neck, you silly goose. So. Sometimes when the cuckoo's crying, when the moon is halfway down. Sometimes when the night is dying, they take me out and I walk around. So what that part is, sometimes when the night is dying. So you're on B to E for that one. So right, you've you've effectively moved up to B, but now we're gonna do this little this this weird little walk down. So, um, so. Sometimes when the cuckoo's crying, when the moon is halfway down. Sometimes when the night is dying, they take me out and I wander. Right. So you stay. You just kind of let that ring. So you're like. Take me out and I wander And then it's A, E, D, A, B Right? So Wander around Walk around You hit a E, B Right? So let's go through that whole thing again Sometimes when the cuckoo's crying When the moon is halfway down Sometimes when the night is Take me out and I wander around. I walk around. And then there's a dig 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 And that's when we go into Sunshine Daydream and uh, here we go. Sunshine Daydream. Walk you in the tall trees. All right. Sunshine Daydream, another song within a song, right? I thought about doing this oh, this one as its own, but no, no. It is a skin tag on this song, and it must always be here, right? It is a mole that you don't want to get rid of. You've named that mole. Mole. Mm. I'm an improv comedian, but you wouldn't know it, would you? But anyway, so this is also your jam. So this progression here, this uh, this Sunshine Daydream progression, is also a da jam that ya da ooh, right? So that's what we're gonna do afterwards. So now listen, and we will do it, right? <laughs> Sunshine daydream, walk you in the tall trees, going where the wind blows, moving like a red rose, breathing more freely. While I'm singing, I walk you in the morning sunshine. Sunshine daydream, sunshine daydream. So, how are we going to break it down? It starts on a B. Then you do that, that thing with an E. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's the same thing we were doing with a D. Right? That's what we're doing. That's the thing we're doing. So we're doing B, 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 F sharp, E. Sharp E. Sunshine daydream. Walk you in the tall trees. Going where the wind goes. Moving like a red rose. Breathing more freely. While I'm singing, I walk you in the morning sunshine. Sunshine daydream. 
that's your jam. That's your ending. That's everything, and you're everything to me. So let's uh, let's loop that shit. Cause congratulations, you did it. You learned Sunshine Daydream, and also Sugar Magnolia. I'm sorry, Sunshine Daydream is a is a much uh, it is a highly elevated jam, and I love it. Uh, so. I'm going to set a loop up for that progression, and then we're going to solo over it and then get out of here because I love you very much. All right, guys, got my loop set up. I'm going to throw on the green screamer and the delay because I like to make it scream. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get in there and make it scream. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead over this in like B, Mixolydian, right? So uh, rip the dick off of it, get melodic, and have a good time. So that's what we're here for, right? We're here for a good time, not a long time. So let's go. <laughs> Right, guys that's uh sugar magnolia and uh sunshine daydream didn't you have a good time i had a great time I had a great time rolling in the rushes with you guys I had a good time uh jumping like a willies with you guys I had a good time waiting backstage uh you know uh and i and i and i had a good time not coming when you followed right and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it uh please hit subscribe and the bell icon uh, go check out our Patreon. We've got a bunch of cool stuff over there, and you can get in there for as little as $2, but you get the content at 5 So I suggest going over the 5 and getting the real weird shit. Um, and then also, we got great merch, beautiful merch over on realbird.company.site. That's our entertainment company is Real Bird. Uh, it's a cult. And uh, you can get uh, Play Dead merch there. All of our channel merch is, uh, is over there now. Times are tough, so uh, I'm just going to shamelessly put my Venmo and, and PayPal up there because that's just a help. Help, help me pay bills. Love you. Uh, and uh, yeah, just keep keep an eye on us. Go check out our podcast. It comes out, uh, we live stream it every Saturday. So go check that out, a Drinking and Joint podcast. 
Uh, head up, hit up Toby's videos, hit up the rest of the videos, live streams all the time. Uh, going to be doing shows all the time too. So I love you guys. Thank you for everything. Thank you for sticking through this with me and, uh, we're going to make it, we're going to do this. All right. And I would totally, I would totally, uh, drive for you while you were drunk. I would do that. I'd, and I would pay your ticket. I would pay your ticket if I had the money, which I don't, but I love you. Okay. So be good people to each other. Be good. Be just don't be a dick. All right. Just be decent. That's all you gotta do is be decent. Okay. So I love you. Mwah.